It's been quite soul-destroying watching this case go through the court. I've been the legal observer on behalf of the whole day in Society of Socialist Lawyers. And although I'm speaking in a personal capacity today, I want to ask the policemen, the prison guards and the journalists here to wake up to what's happening in our midst. It is not normal for the prosecuting state to have plotted to kill the defendant. It is not normal for the prosecuting state's main authority to have bribed their chief witness, who is a serial pedophile and fraudster, to give false evidence against the defendant and for the case to continue. That is the police you have of today, involved in the corruption. And it is not normal for the for the way in which due process has been denied at every stage, whether it is the late provision of the second superseding indictment, whether it is the general behavior where after months of begging for a laptop, he's given a laptop with keys glued down, or whether it is that a journalist is sitting in Belmarsh prison while the, the media community wants to know who made his guilt and is she getting married in a Vivian Westwood dress? Yes. yes. I can see a number of people here who are the journalists who have dared to report. And I urge you to recognize that independence is not the same as lack of agency. You have power, you have reach, and you have the ability to make sure that this injustice is shown to the world. Julian Assange is being prosecuted through, a, through an extradition process which has been hijacked in order to hide war crimes by a state that has committed war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan that continues to this day, 20 years after Guantanamo, to keeping Guantanamo open. Nobody can justify that. And without Julian's courage, we would not know about it. So I urge you today, all of you here, to use your power to help free Assange. Free Julian Assange! Free, Free Julian Assange!